Well, time is uh, interesting because it has a direction at all. There's a difference between the past and the future. And in this way, it's very different than space. In space, every direction is more or less created equal. Uh, we have up and down, but that's only because the Earth is beneath our feet. Out in space, there's no such thing as up and down, left, right, forward, backwards. They're all the same. But the past and the future, the directions of time, are clearly very different. And basically, it all comes down to entropy to the disorderliness of things in the universe. The universe started out very, very orderly, and it's been decaying. It's been becoming more and more disorderly. Entropy has been increasing ever since. And it's that decay, that increase of disorder, that gives time its direction. We remember the past because the entropy was lower then. We're aging and getting older into the future because the entropy is higher. Things are decaying, becoming ever more disorderly with time. You know, our universe now is expanding. It's already big. It's 100 billion galaxies with 100 billion stars per galaxy. But it's getting bigger. The galaxies are moving apart. So if you go backwards, if you extrapolate backwards in time, everything was closer together at earlier times. And at a moment about 13.7 billion years ago, everything was in the same place. It was an infinite amount of density, and that's what we call the Big Bang. Now, often you'll read cosmologists telling you that there is nothing before the Big Bang. The Big Bang is the beginning of the universe. There was no time or space before then. It's like, they will say, asking what's north of the North Pole. But the truth is, we just don't know the answer. The Big Bang is the moment when our ignorance kicks in, where our ability to extrapolate what space and time are doing gives out. So it could be that there is something before the Big Bang. It might not be, but it's an absolute possibility. And right now, modern cosmologists are increasingly investigating scenarios where there was something before the Big Bang. And that might help us understand why the Big Bang had the conditions that it did if we knew what happened before then that gave rise to the Big Bang in the first place.